the figure shows the parts of a sleeve and cotter joint assemble the parts correctly and then draw the following views to a scale 1 is to 1 a front view upper half in section b side view viewing from the left print title and scale used draw the projection symbol give eight important dimensions okay so now if you see this so in this they have given rod so there are two two rods right so they have given uh rod means shaft right so there are two shafts with a slot inside it see if you, if you see there is a dotted line and if you see in top view so they have given slot see this so there are two rods with a slot inside and then they have a sleeve if you see the sleeve this is hollow sleeve right over here there is not, nothing and over here there are two slots see slots are from here top and bottom it is not a pure because of gap in top view it will appear as a rectangle right inside view it will be just circle and then dotted line it won't be through and through remember many many a time people draw dotted line here also for sleeve which is wrong because there is no there is a gap over here then if you see quarter see quarter this is a thin portion long portion so that is spread to top the side so what so if you want to assemble this what we will do we will insert rod a from here rod b from here and we will put quarter from top so that's how it will become one proper joint so we'll see that what we will do first we will draw orthographic of sleeve then we will draw shaft and then we will draw rod So now first we will start with sleeve. So if you see this sleeve is 180 mm long and height is 66. So first we will draw side view, right? So what we can do? We can draw side view, circle, and from there we can project this. So this will be rectangle. Then we have a dotted line. right so the first we will draw rectangle and then we will draw dotted line okay we have one more circle over here right then we have dotted line see the the Width of this is six mm. It is given. Right, the quarter is six mm thick. So what we will do? Over here, we will draw a dotted line. We need to draw it in front view also, right? So if you see over here, they are given thirty, thirty on both the sides. So we can take thirty from here. and we can draw dotted line like this hmm. now the thing is we don't know this another one right and it is tapered one so what we will do we will come back to this afterward now we will draw shaft if you see shaft is 100 100 so now this is how much 180 so we'll take half and 100 100 so we'll take 90 90 on both the sides so now i will draw shaft So that means you draw two mm, and then you take 45, 45 both the sides. So this is what I have done over here. So I have taken two mm from here, two mm from here, and I have taken 45, 45. So that's how I got this, right? Two into 45. So that means this distance is two, and this angle is 45. So that's how I have drawn a shaft. Now I am given this part also. That also will draw. Okay. 
Now, after this, in shaft also, if you see how much is this, 37. So now if you calculate, see this is how much? 90, right? So sorry, 100. So 100, and this is how much? This is 10. So then that is 37. So then from here, how much will go inside? 27. So if you see, there will be 3 mm gap. Then this won't go inside. This dotted line won't coincide with the earlier dotted line. So it will be a gap like this. All of you got this? So we have how much it will be the gap? It will be roughly 3 mm. Yeah, it will be, it will be 3 mm because if you see 37, 30, so 7, and 90 minus 110. So it will be a 3 mm gap. All of you got this? Now after this, what we will do? We will draw a quarter. Now, what is the height of this quarter? 100. So now see, quarter will come here. So, that I will draw. I'll extend from here. From the center line, I will go 50 up. Right? And from here, I'll go 50 down. And then I have to go towards right, right? See, from center line, you want to see this is center line. So from center line you go up by 50, from here go down by 50. Then they have given how much? 32 and 28. So you take 32 over here and you take 28 over here and you join this. So when you join, you realize that it is tapered, it is not straight. See, in, in quarter, one side is straight and one side is stable. Why, why they provide this? Because to lock, because then it should not come out on its own. When, when the shaft is rotating, it should not come out on its own. So that's why they give taper. So they give taper only on one side. If they give taper on both the sides, then it won't be that uh, efficient. So that's why they give one side straight and one side inclined. So one is 32, one is 20. And how will you draw? This round shape, if you see in quarter, this part, to, to, to draw that, from here we we'll take this radius, from here we we'll cut down this side, from here we we'll cut down this side. See, take this, cut down, from here also you cut down, and from that point you can draw this curve. Same way down also, you take this, take this radius, cut up this side, and you draw this. So all of you got this, how, like how to draw this taper. And now we need to put this clearance also. Now, now see this line is also there. So how will you get this line? Now this dimension was 3 mm, right? This gap was 3 mm. So from here, you take 3 mm. From here, you take 3 mm. And you join this. Only this much you need to draw. See this. From here, you take 3 mm. From here, you take 3 mm. And you join this. So you need to draw only this much. So this will be clearance. So this is the most important part in cotton and sleeve. So you take 3mm. So whatever gap you have. So 99% it will be 3mm gap. So take this 3mm gap. So you take 3mm from here, 3mm from here. And you draw a line, parallel line. So it will be parallel to this. Now same thing we have to put over here also. From side center you go up by 50, and again you take 32, down by 50, again you take 28, and slow. We'll draw this curve on both the sides. Right? And then again we take 3 mm from this side, 3 mm from this point, see this, from this point you take 3 mm, from this point you take 3 mm, and you draw parallel line, parallel to that slope, it will be only here and here, it will be only in sleeve, because we need to draw this slot for sleeve, right? So it is this way. So we are done with front view, now we need to draw top view as well as side view. So what we will do, first we will finish side view. So now in side view, when, when you see from here, right? You will see this shaft, so that I can draw my drawing hatching lines, right? So shaft is there, sleeve is there. Now we have quarter. 
you can draw this right according to that height and then now we have a dotted line for quarter because quarter is going through and through and if you see they are given a omega slot right now see this angle is generally 70 degree what do you do we will take height from here height from here and we will draw 70 70 degree so you get this part 4 or they are given 4 mm over here so what do you can do this is 6 right so from, from here you take for any joints. At times they give you angle, at times they give you di dimension. So we heard that your dimension for 4. If it is not given, then you take angle 70. Right? This angle will be 70. So this is called. So we are done with side view. So all of you understood front view and side view. So we have drawn sleeve first, then you have inserted shaft. Then we have inserted quarter and we have completed side view. Now we will see top view. Now in top view, when you see, see this part will be dark, sleeve will be dark. Then you have shaft, right? You have shaft again. You have dotted shaft. We are done with shaft. Now we need to draw that slot. See this, this, this one. So that will project quarter first. So when you see from the top, see what happens? This much portion will be down. Right? This is dotted, like you can't see. This part will be also not happening. This part, the lower part. Right? And there will be a slight dark portion because of this 3 mm gap. This gap. So it will be like this. And we need to draw this curve also. When you see in top, you see this curve. So this is free hand. So that you can draw. Same thing on the <coughs> same thing on the other side. You project from here. First we will draw a rectangle. Right? This 3 mm gap. So it will be done. Over here it will be dotted. Because you can't see this part, right? This inner one. Then we need to draw dotted for this. And we'll have curve. So now we are done with top view, front view, and side view of this assembly. Now we need to draw upper half in section. So what we will do? First we will draw cutting in line. We are seeing from this side. So let's say our cut line line is AA. So we are going to cut this much. So what will happen? It will be like this. See this. Hmm? So this will go away. This will go away. Right? So and see this. This much portion will be done. Now see in this, we haven't shown a section in sharp. Generally we don't show, but in this we need to show, otherwise it will be thoda complicated. So I haven't shown it over here, so traditionally we draw only this much part for hatching, but for more understanding we are doing it till this half. So what we will do, see this will be done, this will be done, this will go over. 
this will be dark, this will be dark, this will go away. Hmm? Then this part, sleep, the upper portion will be dark. This gap will be dark. Right? This will be dark. The sharp, this much portion will be dark. And there will be dark. This much portion will be dark. See this. First a section, I'm talking about section. Those who are do upper half in this section, we have to do this much. Right? The lower half will, will remain as it is, right? It will be dark, of course, but it will be dotted. The dotted will remain dotted. Dark will remain dark. Now we need to do hatching in this area. So what we will do first, we will hatch seed. So that we are going to hatch in this direction. So now we need to hatch shaft in a different direction. Now see over here, what we will do, we will do partial section. We won't do a hatching till the end. We can do this. Right? We will draw this zigzag line and we will do hatching in the opposite direction. This is called a partial section. When you don't feel like doing a full section, that time you can do. And we show hatching in only that much area. Because generally we don't show hatching in sharp. But now in this case, it will become more complicated. So that's why we are doing this. This is upper half in section where we have done the hatching in sleeve and we have done hatching in shaft. So this detail of this quarter is important. So we will come to know, okay, 3 mm, 3 mm, this gap we will be able to see properly. So that's why we are doing this. And we need to draw axis line in top view. So in this sum, we have to draw, see this, we have, we have to write front view, upper half in section A, top view, LHSB, important dimensions, then we need to mark 1, 2 and 3, 1 is rod, 2 is sleeve and 3 is quarter. We need to draw this table, scale 1 is to 1, then this is assemble and we need to write assembly of sleeve and quarter joint. 